One of our longest uh, range uh, projects we have at the moment is uh, working in the Russian Far East with the Amor Leopard. It's a very rare species of 30, 35 to 40 individuals in quite a, a, a big area, but a very excluded area um, in the Russian Far East. And we went initially to train the um, field biologists and, and Russian vets how to immobilize, stabilize, and then um, uh, uh, radio collar and, and release these leopards so they could find out more about it. But a really important part of that project is taking samples properly, storing those samples, storing and labeling those samples properly. And all that data is fed into a, a special database specifically for the Amor leopards. And it gives us an idea of the disease profile that the Amor leopards have out there and what diseases might be a threat. Um, we've found canine distemper in tigers a bit further north from the Amor leopard, and should that disease come into the Amor leopard population, it will completely and utterly decimate it. So we go from that, that, and we now work on a similar disease surveillance throughout the tiger's range state. And we're also working on the other end of the size scale with, with um, highly endangered birds and reptile species, mainly on islands where there's only one, um, these species are only found on one island and we're repopulating other islands with the same species uh, as, an, as kind of insurance. And um, they're in their historic range state. And a lot of that is to do with training the field biologists, but particularly the local government vets and the importance of um, wildlife medicine. <laughs>